Good morning. As you see, people joining. I see guys. All right. So today we have CS first in the beginning of class, followed by body flow. They will all fit in in about 55 minutes or so. Hey, hi Kim, I see you. Um, so equipment that you'll want to have are a mat, if you have one, just the floor slide. Um, and if you want, or if you have uh, any kind of Resistance band that would be good to have, and if you want it, a weight of some sort. All right, I'll be using those for crutches. If you don't want them, you don't have to have them. Not a worry. Everything can be done body weight. Okay, so we're going to begin with um, warm up, uh, core on the floor, and then we're going to do the side body up on our feet with the band. And then we're going to do some back work, and then we're going to transition to body flow. I will give everyone time to take their shoes and socks off. And um, the great thing about that part is you can just stretch everything out, and we'll work on a little bit of balance as well and strengthening more into the legs. So welcome to uh, what's today? Today's Thursday, the 28th. Uh, welcome to class with Coles Jen, and my name is Jackie. If I, if I have not met you before. We're going to begin on our backs, so go ahead and lie down. Lie down on your backs. Relax. We're going to begin with a lower body warm-up. Feet are going to be hip distance apart, palms are up. And bring both knees up above your hips. I'm going to turn the music up. Keep it going. Whoops. That's what happens when you get very remote. Yep, just gonna keep going. <laughs> like an actual head class. Touch your toes slightly to the floor. Lower back should be pressing towards your backs. Yep. <laughs> head and shoulders stay down on the floor. Warming up the lower body. One more just the lower body. Elbows out. Two by two C crunch. Yeah, you got two M O V E. Come on, eyes to the knees. Listen. Bring it in quick. Hold. Slow. One more. Press three. Bring it down. If it's too much, just keep your legs on the floor. Cross slow. The other side. Really slow. Use your shoulder to bring your chest towards your opposite side. Lift the feet if you like a little faster. Oh yeah. Backs up your hips and lower backs. Stay down on your mat. A little faster. One and two. Are you feeling warm? Come on. Oh, keep it coming. If you want, tap your toes. Yep. Yep. Four. Three. Feet on the floor. Palms up. Arms by your side. Squeeze them up. Lift your hips. Top half. Lift your hips as high as you can. Squeeze your thighs. Squeeze your glutes. Keep it coming. Chest towards your chin. Breathe. M O V E S. One more. Bring your bodies down. Sequence two two. Quick slow. You can reach for your feet. 
triple, three, two, yeah. Come on. Keep it going. I know you feel it. Yep. One to go. Stay down. Roll yourselves over. Welcome to core train number one. Go into your knees, hands, or rather your elbows underneath of your shoulders. Get the wrap us out of your upper backs. Press the shoulders out. Keep your knees down. Eyes in front of your hands. If you want, you're going to pick up your knees. Be honest with yourselves. Are you hiking up? If you want, put your knees back down. Keep a nice long back. Squeeze your thighs extra hard if you're on your toes. Keep your belly drawn into your backs. Adding on, we're going to slide forward, slide back. These are slow. Just a little bit forward and a little bit back. If it's too much, you can extend the leg and stand the standard knees. This is a choice. You can take it any time. And if you want, you can mix it up. Yeah. You can pick up your toes if you're up on more. Feet as well. Come on, take it up. Breathe. Just point your toes instead of lifting your leg. You want your leg to stay steady. Want to go. Switch your backs. Go on. Lower backs down. And see crunch the stars slow. Arms and legs up. Take your arms and legs up. Bend your knees, reach for your feet. Hold, take it up. Take it out. Bring it in slow. Pause. So you can keep it this tempo if you want. Your workout, right? You can reach out, return. Breathe. How's your lower backs? If your lower backs are coming up, you're going to put your feet down. Take the one that makes you feel the strongest. Come on. Hold. Roll back over. Knees are toes. Forearms down. Shoulders down your backs. When you're ready, shift your weight forward. Shift it back. Just two more like that. Come on. Breathe. Listen. Hands on your shoulders. If it's too much, keep on your elbows. Shift your weight forward. Lift your toes, alternate, or it's on one top of the floor. Your hips should not be moving. If you need to go ahead and put your knees down and just tap back. Take the one you need. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are you still with me? Come on. Don't let your hands come in front of you. Stay where you are. Just a little more. All right, keep your feet still. Hold. Hold. Breathe. Bring your knees down. Push back. Get ready for your standing track. I'm gonna move on that back. You're going to need space on the sides of your legs and behind you. If you have a band, 
Gonna step both feet in. Make sure you can move your feet. If you don't have a band, no worries, just your body weight is fine. So make sure you can move your feet. It should be a little bit loose between your feet with the band. Cross the band. If you like, you leave your arms here on your thighs, or you bring it up onto your hips, nice and tall. All right. Breathe. We're going to begin with stepping out, then your knees, right leg, out, left leg. Shift your body side to side, but keep your shoulders down, hips forward. Slide down to the knees. Breathe. Yep. Getting the sides of your glutes and your thighs. Keep it going. Hold, right leg back, and return. So it's a circle. You begin with the back, then out and return. Draw your bellies in, bend the knees. Four more. Three. Two. Right leg. Tap it back, bring it under. Shoulders stay down, try not to cave in your chest. Eight more. You can pick your foot up if you like. Hips are staying forward. Four, three, two, step down, circle the other leg. And just walk it out and in. Out and in. There we go. Five. Bend your knees. Left leg circle and down. So if you have a tendency to lean to the side, make the circle smaller and tap your toes. Bend your right knee. Good morning, guys, or good afternoon. I'm going to see you guys coming on. This will be recorded, so don't worry if you missed the first part. Take your left leg back and under. Bend your standing knee. Make sure you're tipping from the back. Draw your bellies in. Listen, step it right, then left. Add a squat. Get lower into the hips. Are you breathing still? Are you keeping your posture calm in your spine? Whew. Come on, we've got some more. One more. Hold, right leg, circle. Back. Out, under. Draw your bellies in. See how big you can make that circle while keeping a tall posture. Two more this leg. Set it down, second leg. Yep, tall. All around the booty right here. Yep. Uh, four, three, come on, one more, step it out, right, left, squat, hang in there, almost done, keep your chest up, Yes, almost, almost, almost. Last one, done. Good job. Go ahead and put those to the side. We're gonna work on our backs. So, come on down to the floor.
Get water if you need it quickly. Eyes gonna be down. Draw your bellies in. Hands on the floor. Eyes down. Squeeze your upper back, set bellies in, chest up. So it's gonna be two pulse in the middle. And then open to one side. Center. Two in the middle. Your hands can lift. Then the other side. If you like, wide your arms. This is upper back work. Rotate. Keep it going. Take the time. Be sure to look down to save the backs of your necks. Rotate. Do it again. One more. Rotate. Listen, hands outside the shoulders. Up on your knees if you like. Press down two and two. Push ups. Take your hands wider. If you want, you come up on your toes. Keep your hips still. Draw your bellies in. You can bring your knees under and just push your chest down. Alright, come down to the belly again. Eyes down. Your fingertips can be outside of shoulder. Or you can bring your hands by your legs, palms down. Squeeze them up, lift your thighs. Slow kick. Slow kick. Are you okay? Yeah? You can tell me later, okay? Tell me in comments later. <laughs> How you feel? Woo! Eyes forward. Listen, smooth your arms forward. And return. You can make your legs go faster if you want. Take it back. Feel like we're going somewhere swimming, yes? Make sure you're engaging your bellies in to work your backs. Keep everything safe, look down. We are so doing this, come on. Everyone stop. Heels together if you can, lift the thighs up. Parachute, elbows bent. Squeeze your upper back and your lower back. Come to the middle, do that again. Lift, then lower. Come on up. Yes. Eyes forward. Relax. So that is the CX portion of class. We're going to go into body flow. We begin with our body flow warm up, yoga style, okay? So, Side on to the camera, or to the screen rather. Everyone face the left side of the room. First you can take your shoes off. I will play music. Go to child's pose whenever you're ready. Go ahead and do child's pose. Just breathe. Take whatever stretch you need. All right. Palms down. Pull back. Let the elbows rest. If you would like to add a twist, bring an arm underneath of the other one. Side of your shoulder down. Side of your head down. Let your hips go heavy. Stay for one more breath. Slowly switch. Relax your belly. Relax your jaw. Bring all fours onto your mat. Knees under hips, hands in front of your shoulders. 
Head stretch, round your back. And then push your chest forward, shoulder blades down on your back. Yes. That was cow, go to cat again. Slowly go to cow, chest forward, shoulders down. With the bottoms of your feet down, down dog, lift up your hips. Walk your heels, alternate them from the floor. When you're ready, walk your feet towards your hands. Come into the top of your mat, facing the left side of your room, the left side of your mat. Come in a forward fold and relax to the shoulders. We're going to get right into some meditation. So roll up, extend the mountain, reach up. Fold again, hands on the floor, bend your knees. Long back extend, hands on your shin, shoulder blades down. Bend your knees and fold. Right leg steps back, lunge. Lower the hips, eyes forward, palms down, down dog. Come into place slow. Place your knees down if you like. Lower halfway to crocodile. Inhale, chest up, cobra, or up dog. Down dog, bottoms of your feet down, lift up your hips. Bend your knees, lunge right foot in. Lower the hips, left foot in and fold. Stay here. Inhale, rise all the way to the top, reach up. Fold. Bend your knees. Long back extend. Hands and legs. Shoulders down the backs. Elbows back. Fold. Left leg, step it back. Lower your hips in your lunge, then palms down. Push away from your down dog. Slowly find your plank. Breathe. Breathe out. Bend your elbows. Knees down at any time is fine. Chest forward, cobra or up dog. Down dog. Bend your knees, left foot steps in. Bend the right, stay in your fold. Inhale, rise, extend your mountain, reach up. Down towards the floor, fold. Long backs. Spines long, shoulders wide. Fold again. All again on the right side. So right leg steps back, eyes forward. Palms down, down dog, both feet. Hip distance apart, then come forward in a plank. Hands on the shoulders, this is your strength portion. Bend the elbows. Chest up, cobra, or up dog. Down dog. Lunge, right leg steps in. Lower the hips. Bend the back knee. Fold and stay. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, walk fast. Exhale and fold. Lunge, left leg goes back. Lower the hips. Palms down. Push back in the dog. Strengthen your plank, eyes in front of the fingers. Shoulders down, bend the elbows, knees again on the floor at any time. Peel back up, curve up or up dog. Down dog. Bend your knees, left foot in. Bend the right, forward and steady. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, long backs, hands on your legs, shoulders down your backs. And forward, breathe out. Right leg again, step it back, lower the hips. Down dog, make sure all ten fingers are down. Breathe, find your strength, come to plank. 
lower halfway crocodile, touch the floor if you need, and then peel back up, cobra or up dog, down dog, lift up your hips. Right leg lunges in. Left leg steps in, fold. One more, inhale. Exhale. Long back is set, breathe in. Breathe out and fold. Left side, send your leg back. We have keep going, we switch off, no worries. Feet or hips is apart. Come into plank. Lower halfway. And then chest up. Find your down dog. Lift up your hips. Walk your feet in. Have your feet together or apart a little bit. Have your kneecaps even come into a tense pose. Reach your arms up. Shoulders down and open your arms. Listen. Your right leg steps back or the leg closest to the front. Come in into warrior one. All ten toes face the short side of your mat. Breathe. Make sure your hips are even, shoulders pushing back as you can. For your two, right heel lifts and open. Open so that you feel strong in your legs. The back leg is long. The front leg is bent right over the ankle. And if you like, pick up the front heel, double your hips and shoulders. Sun warrior. Reach your left arm up. Shoulder blades down. Eye gaze soft. Breathe. Place your left heel down with this up. Find your triangle, lay down the leg. Shift your weight to the side. And then come over. Reach up, bend the front knee if you wish. Your top arm can come around and behind you. Wrap it. Look down your right side body. Stay here. If you want a deeper pose, go for it. Keep your chest to the front, shoulders down. Breathe. Slowly lift. Face the opposite side. Everything on the side, so intense pose. Reach up. Find your gaze somewhere in front of your body. Open your chest some more. Bend the elbows a little bit. Yes. Keep it going. Lift. Left leg goes back opposite leg, the one closest to the front. And then reach your arms up. This is your warrior one. Squeeze the backs of your bodies. And breathe. Picking up your back heel. Face the front. Bend your front knee right over ankle. Double your hips. Warrior two. Picking up your right heel if you like. Feeling that strength from your feet all the way up your legs. Some more your right arm reaches up. Soften your elbows. Soften your wrists. Breathe. Put the heel down if it's up. Lengthen the legs. Shift your weight to your back leg. And then come to the side. Bend your knee if you like. The key is to try to keep your chest to the front of the room. How far reaches around. 
going as deep as you can, staying with it and breathing. How are we doing out there? Slowly come up. Send your toes out. Come into a squat. Draw your bellies in. Lift your arms. And if you can, lift your heels. Stay in your squat. Are you breathing? Really important to you. Breathe. You've got this. You can do it. Come on. Heels down. Lift. Come into the center of your mat. Welcome to your balance. Allow your shoulders to relax. Your feet apart if you want. Reach up. Tree pose. Right foot on your left leg below or above your knee. Take your arms where you need to for balance. If you can, hands together into the center of your chest. Are you feeling lovely today? All good, just put it back down. Or place it on your calf or ankle. Balance is tricky every day, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Let's open wide. Breathe. And if you would like, bend your left knee, pick up your right leg, take it up to the side. If you want more, extend. Bring your toes and your fingers if you like. Place it down. Let's try the other side. Tree pose. Low tree or high tree. Never on the kneecaps. Always above or below the knees. We're usually better balanced on one side versus the other. All good. Just do what you can and breathe. Let's open our arms slowly. Stay here. If you like, left leg up. Extend. You can bring your toes into your peace fingers. Take it out, give it a try quickly. Then release when you're ready. Dance your pose. Switch legs. Bring your right foot into your hand and push the leg away. If you're able to, go ahead and tip forward and reach forward. Eyes away from your bodies. Slowly switch sides. Other leg, thumb if you want into your foot, otherwise somewhere on the leg. Even up your hips. Go forward, reach the other arm when you're ready. Great job. Come on to your mats. Face the right side. Bend the knees. Walk up to your hip openers. All right. So the front foot is really close into your body. Chest up. If you can, go ahead and extend the back leg. If not, no worries, keep it bent. Level your hips. You can stay up high or go deeper into your swan. Forearms or your whole body lies in the front leg. Stay here if you like. 
We can add a quad stretch. If you're adding a quad stretch with me, chest up, bend the back knee, bring it forward. Take your foot or ankle in the hands as close as you can. Your choice is to extend, or you can bring your foot closer and you can try mermaid or not. Just reach somewhere. Great job. Switch sides. Keep your legs down. Bend down if you need. Make sure you are anchored into your left hip. Extend the back leg. Optional. And you know where to go if you want to go deeper into the pose. Relax across your upper back. Relax your jaw again. Breathe. Stay here. Enjoy this pose right where you are or add a quad stretch. If you want it, bend the back knee forward. Bring the foot in, then take the knee behind you again. Try to level your chest to the side. If you want to try to into the crook of your elbow, you don't have to touch, you can just go towards it. Shoulder mobility and hip mobility is a must here. Yeah? All good. Bring your leg down. Modify half lotus. Level your hips. Bring your right foot on top of the other leg, otherwise we get in the front. Reach your hands forward. Walk them forward. Go as far as you can, and then relax. You can stay here, or you can try some piano stretches. If you're doing that, your forearm on your right thigh, press you down as you breathe. And then slowly release it up. Let's try that again. Slowly press. Breathe. Stay with it if you can. And then gently release. Recover longer if you need it. If you're ready to do that once more, press down. And then slowly release. Let's switch sides. On the leg forward, on the floor, or on, on the opposite side. Beginning with just a tip forward from the tops of your hips, bottoms of your hips stay down. And relax if you want. If you want to increase your flexibility, you can try the piano stretches. So your forearm on the left side, on your left knee. Press down slow. Stay with it for as long as you can. Yep. And then slowly release. When you're ready, go again. You can even up your weight in your upper body. Yep. Slowly release. One more time. Let's try. Slowly release. Bottoms of your feet together. See the star. Hands on solid of your hips. Chest up, long belly. Bring your hips as close as you can towards your feet. And then slowly push your knees out. Push them down towards the floor. If they don't go very far or if you need to extend your legs forward, that's okay. You just do the best with them you can. Stay here. Breathe. If you want a little extra, Put the weight of your body into your arms and then lift your hips just a little bit. 
release it. Let your hands come forward. Gently push your uppers down on your knees. Everybody release. Bring your knees together. Face the right side of your mat. Come into child's pose. Hands down, elbows on the mat. Let your foreheads rest. Breathe deeply in through your nose and out through your nose. Welcome to your twist track. Come on up to all fours. The leg closest to me, step it forward. We're going to go into a lunge twist, back knee stays down. So your belly comes to the front belly, even up your chest. So your whole palm and the back arm on the floor to help lift the front arm, yeah? The one closest to the front. Then that arm wraps around, allow your upper spine to twist, breathe and relax. Feeling this right behind the shoulder blades. Stay with this if you like. We're here for a while. Or tuck the back toes down. Lift up the back knee. Reach up. Reach back. Breathe. Everyone release. Hands down, opposite leg. Bend the back knee, put it down, shift your weight forward. Hold palm down, that leads to the front leg again. When you're ready, reach up. Top arm comes down behind you. Breathe. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. With every breath, try to open your chest a little further. Oh, we're still here. We're still twisting for spinal release and spinal health. Nice job. If you want to add a lot, back toes. And you can reach up. All of our choices in body flow. Reach back if you can. Reach back if you want to. Come on down. Have a seat. Seated twist. Your right foot in front of you. You can make them the opposite way. Or fold it in. Your right leg can come across, setting your hips. Give your top leg a hug with the opposite arm and then twist. Breathe. Where can you go with that back shoulder? Follow it with your chin and then your eyes. You can stay here. Or you can bring your elbow outside of me. You should be against your elbow and vice versa for leverage. One more if you want it. IT and stretch. Hold your leg or your foot. Extended chest up. Opposite arm reaches back. Look behind you. Breathe. Put the leg down anytime you don't like this. You know what your body needs. Slowly release. Second side. Double your hips. Wrap around. Back shoulder, knees, the twist. Make it feel good. Breathe. 
Bring your tailbones down again. Try to have your bottoms of your feet facing the ceiling. Now lower your shoulders down. Close your eyes if it feels good. If you want, rock slowly side to side. Breathe into your belly. Slowly breathe out. Bring your feet together. Let them down below you. Reach your arms above you. Relax your hands. Extend the butterfly. If you like, gently hold the opposite elbows in your palms. Maybe have a gentle smile as your jaw relaxes. 
as your mind slows down. Spending a little more time on your recovery. Very slowly on your next in breath, begin to breathe a little deeper. You're waking with small movements around your wrists or your ankles. If you would like, take your head gently side to side, release tension that might remain in your necks and your upper backs. If you're lying down, Gently push yourselves up to a seated position. Ears over your shoulders, relaxing shoulders over your hips. And we breathe together. Reach up, inhale, palms together, bring them down to your chest. Breathe out. One more, inhale. And exhale, and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had a good class. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments, and I hope to see you again soon. So this session will be saved onto the page. If you have comments, let me know there, all right? Have a great day, everyone. Here we go. Hey, so if you missed the class, if you just joined recently, it will be safe, so no worries, all right? Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.